positive qualities are automatically there. Compassion, blessing, it is automatically there. Wisdom itself is a greatest blessing. Knowing that happening, understanding that you are your own source of, you know, your mind, within your mind is a source of happiness, unhappy. It's the greatest blessing. It's like somebody gave you, you know, like a bank account which you didn't know you had. You know, it's, and someone just give you a key. You know, that is the biggest blessing other than someone helping you. So that's why when you say, you know, when you when we say I take when we say Buddha, we take refuge in the Buddha, we are actually saying that I take refuge in the plain empty nature of the mind, which has been realized by Guru Padma Sambhava, Buddha Shakyamuni, Amitabha Buddha, etc. You know, to their enlightened wisdom mind, which is full of wisdom, and naturally where there is wisdom, there will be compassion. Where there is ego, where there is selfishness, there will not be compassion or limited compassion. So full of wisdom, you know, and the quality ability of uh, the Buddha, to that clear empty nature of the mind is I am taking refuge. Not just not the form. Form form can be anything. Similarly, you know, I am taking refuge in my own clear and empty nature of the mind also because the, by it is by realizing within myself this nature that I can be liberated. Similarly, when we say I take refuge in the Dharma, you know, we are not saying Dharma is just some books or some listening to the teaching or that is called the outer dharma. But the real dharma is the when you engage in the process of the process or the path of transforming your mind. Call it transforming your mind. Mahayana you can say transforming your mind. Vajrayana you can say recognizing the nature of your mind, the empty nature of your mind. That process itself is the true dharma. If you don't engage in that process, no matter how much you read, how much you you know, you will just be a philosophical, you know, scholar, you know, right? You know, scholar emptiness. Scholar has to thrive. You know, so 